compliment. We are back in code fights. Doing variable name. Raids of reason. Intro section. Now some of you uh, may have seen my IPv4 address. And I said, why am I going to spend time learning something that I know there is already a solution for on the internet? Uh, for something like password or something like email. Somebody's already solved that for us. Now, here is an example of a simple one, which wouldn't be solved for us other than the fact that it's on a coding website. So I didn't feel that it was right for me to do that. So I actually put in the time to solve this. And I'm going to... I'm going to uh, explain my my simple regular expression um, that we're going to excuse me I'm a little sick I'm dying over here um, uh, we're just gonna have a return statement that tests a regular expression now to start off our regular expression we have these these slashes to contain it and then the eye on the end here the eye on the end means that we don't care if it's uppercase or lowercase in our regular expression now, uh, the next thing that we have is this caret denotes the start of it. So we want the start of our regular expression within these brackets here to only contain something that's in here. So this A to Z is going to be letters A to Z. Now, if we didn't have that I, we would have to do something like this to include the uppercase and the lowercase. But because we said, hey, we don't care about uh, carrots, uh, excuse me, because we don't care about case, we'll do. We can do it like this. Now we also allow underscores in here. In here, we basically I, f I forgot to go over the problem, but the problem asks is that hey, we have letters, digits, and underscores, and they can't start with a digit. So basically, we just wanted to start with a number, or excuse me, we wanted to start with a letter, or we wanted to start with a underscore, and we've set that up already. The next part of it is we want the words to be able to have any value in it. And uh, the, the, the slash W, or the W, stands is for words and digits and underscores. So we're saying, yeah, that for any, and then this is the end. So that's the end. So uh, nothing's coming after that. So that is our regular expression. That is it. Um, now, um, I struggled on this part a little bit right here. Uh, but I think I have a decent understanding of what it is. I'm still trying to get better with regular expressions. But the test function here is, hey, take that regular expression, test that this value we're passing in, and return a true or false if it passes. Um, but I did spend about two hours, three hours, trying to understand regular expressions a lot better. And I will say that having done it, I appreciate that. I, I could say that I understand this part, and I understand uh, this part pretty accurately now <coughs> and I've learned a lot because of it so as always guys thank you for watching the video don't forget to comment like subscribe and share and uh, support me on patreon join the Facebook group the discord channel all that great stuff is in the description I'll see you guys next time bye hey guys thanks for watching the video special thanks to our sponsors dev mountain if you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included definitely check them out Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.